sometimes when we have an object that we're going to digitize with, we want to create a second object just outside of it or just inside of it for the purpose of perhaps um, combining holes or perhaps for just some other decorative purpose. A lot of times with objects like a circle or a square, it's really easy just to um, copy and paste the first object and then just pull it and make it a little larger. That just doesn't happen well or doesn't do well with more complicated designs. So let's learn a little bit how to use the inflation tool. The inflation tool is part of Stitch Artist and it's also a deflation tool as well. It is up in the right hand corner. It looks like a square with some little brackets to the side of it. So we're going to be utilizing this tool. First, um, I grabbed a just a jigsaw piece from the shapes library and what I'm going to do is I am going to show you why the copy and paste doesn't work well here what happens it's funny so if I hit command C and command V because I'm working on a Mac it will be control V and or control C and control V if you're working on a PC so then I do have the second object I created Let's give that a different color so you're going to see exactly what I'm doing here. And now holding the shift key so that the object stays in the center, let's carefully make it just a little bigger. Now that's not going to work good if we're combining holes or if we're doing an outline because of the complexity of the shape. It is not right around the edge the way that I want that to be. So let's undo that and let's look at why the inflation tool um, works so much better for that. So I'm clicking on the object in my panel here, the second one I created, that I made a neon green. I'm going to go to the inflation tool and click on that. I'm going to keep the uh, softened corners because that will work well for these, this design that does have soft corners. And let's inflate this. Please note you can deflate as well, but let's inflate this about four and a half. Okay, and there we have it. And you can see what happened here is it went directly outside of this shape and it just is so much nicer. Again, if you're working with an object like a circle, um, let's pull one out and take a peek at this. It's so much different and so much easier to um, make the exact shape. Command C, Command V, and then we hold the shift key and pull it. That's just absolutely perfect. It looks great. But with more complex designs, make sure you use your inflation um, tool. And remember, you can inflate and deflate both. For more information, check out the link I have included. Uh, for Embrillion Stitch Artist and um, it's a great program. You'll love it. Um, I have my affiliate link included there in case you want to click on that. It will not cost you any more but it puts a little jingle back in my pocket as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.